Okay, now we're going to look at prepositions, four settles, and more specifically, prepositions of time, the four settles from date. The prepositions of time we're looking at are in, on, and at. When do you use them? So the preposition in is used for a month, a, a year, and a season. So for example, in November, there is a horse market in Hadel. In 2010, there were more horses than in 2009. The horse market is always in the winter. You can also use in as a preposition for part of the day, but only part of the day, so in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon. Okay, so then you have the preposition on. You use on for a day or a date, a very specific day, a very specific date. So you say, on Wednesday, I have to go to the dentist. My birthday is on the 15th of April, and on that day, I will be 16. On Christmas Day, we give each other presents. Okay, so on is for a specific day or date. Okay, so we just saw that you can use in for part of the day, in the evening, in the afternoon, etc. But you can also use on. There is a difference. On you use if you talk about the day and then part of the day. So on Wednesday morning, it's very specific, not generally in the morning, but on Wednesday morning, I went to see the dentist. On Saturday evening, I'm having a party with my friends. So it's referring to a specific day and a specific part of that day. And finally, the preposition at. At you use for times, the clock times, but you can also use it for meal times. So you can say at three o'clock, at half past six. You can say at lunchtime, at breakfast, but you can say at the moment because that is also a time right now at this very moment. The preposition at. You can also use at to refer to something, a period of time that lasts two or three days, such as at Christmas and at the weekend. We use on for on Christmas day. We are talking about one day. And if we refer to the period of Christmas, guest period, we say at Christmas, at the weekend. I've written here that in the United States, you do hear them saying on the weekend. For now, let's just stick to at the weekend. It refers to two or three days. This slide is basically just a recap for you. Have a look at it, turn the sound off and make sure you get that into your heads. And there will be a pop-up for a little um, bit of practice on prepositions. I hope this helps.